Hi friends, Miss Cassie here with Soul and Public Library's Digital Storytime. This month we're going to be talking all about the ABCs. <laughs> and this week we're going to be talking about how the alphabet helps us communicate with each other. But first we need to sing our welcome song and we need to get our clapping hands ready. So we're going to wiggle our fingers and shake our hands and rub them together really fast, really fast, really fast and put them on our knees. Okay, here we go. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. What do we do after we clap our hands? That's right, we stomp our feet. If you wanna read a book, stomp your feet. If you wanna read a book, stomp your feet. If you wanna read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you wanna read a book, stomp your feet. What do we do after we stomp our feet? That's right, we twirl around. If you want to read a book, twirl around. If you want to read a book, twirl around. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, twirl around. All right, for our last verse, we're going to be as quiet as we can. And we're going to whisper, hooray. If you wanna read a book, whisper hooray, hooray. If you wanna read a book, whisper hooray, hooray. If you wanna read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you wanna read a book, whisper hooray, hooray. Okay, our theme song this month that we're gonna sing every week this month is called A B C Z Y X. And so we are going to be doing the alphabet using American Sign Language signs for letters. And we're going to learn a couple other American Sign Language signs too. So one of the signs we're going to learn is no. Can you tap your forehead with your fingers? No. And then we're also going to do sing. So you put your arm out and you wave your other hand like you're conducting an orchestra. We're going to do backward, so our pointer fingers are going to be like little feet walking backwards. <laughs> and we're going to do surprised. Oh, and one more thing. At one point in our song, we're going to count to three. And in American Sign Language, you count to three like this. You turn your palm so it's facing you, and you count one, two, and then your thumb is three. Ready? One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Good job. Okay, we're going to do the letters really slowly this first time. And then as the weeks go on, we're just going to do them together and I'm not going to walk you through them. Okay? All right. So we've got A. Our thumb is on the side. A. B. Our thumb is tucked in the middle. C looks just like the letter C. D, we close it up and our, our first finger is sticking up. E, our fingers rest on our thumb. F is like the OK sign. G, we're going to take our two, our pointer finger and our thumb, and we're going to turn it like this. Just like that, yep, G. H, we're just going to stick out our two, our first finger and our second finger together. H. I is just our little pinky. I. And then for J, we're going to take our little pinky and we're going to draw a J in the air. J. Great job. For K, our first two fingers go out like this with our thumb in the middle. K. L, we make an L shape with our first finger and our thumb. M, our thumb, goes underneath three of our fingers, M. 
And then N, it goes under two of our fingers. N, O, looks like the letter O. P is like the K, but upside down. Uh, P, Q is like the G, but upside down. R, we cross our fingers over each other. This one can be a little tricky. You can use your other hand to help. R. S is like the A, but the thumb is in front. T, our thumb goes in between our first finger and second finger. U, our first two fingers are up like this. And then V, they separate like a peace sign. W, we have our three fingers. X is like a hook, like a pirate. Arg, X. Y is just our thumb and our pinky sticking out. And then Z, we take our first finger and we draw a Z in the air. You got it? All right, we're gonna go very slowly and we're gonna sing through our whole A, B, C, Z, Y, X song. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Now let's sing them backwards on three. One, two, three. Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, good job, S, R, Q, P, O, N, M, yep, L, K, J, I, H, and G, good job, F, E, D, C, B, and A. Now I've sung my Z, Y, X's. Bet that's not what you expected. <laughs> Yay! Great job, friends. That was a lot of new things all at once, but we're going to practice every week, and I bet by the end of the month, you will know all the signs in this song. Our first book today is called Say Hello, <laughs> and it is written and illustrated by Rachel Isadora. So in this book, we are going to learn about all kinds of different ways that people say hello. Carmelita gets up early in the morning. She helps her mama make their favorite breakfast, huevos con tocino. Today, we visit Abuela Rosa, mama says. What is one of your favorite breakfasts? You know what I love? French toast. Mm, mm, mm. So good. After breakfast, Carmelita hurries and gets dressed, then gets Manny. Who do you think Manny is? Yeah, it's her dog. What color is her dog? Yeah, he's black. They walk all the way down 9th Avenue. Buenos dias, Senor Enrico calls. <gasps> Buenos dias. That's how you say good day in Spanish. Shalom, says Mrs. Rosen and her children. Shalom. That's how you say hello in Yiddish. They stop in at the Japanese restaurant to say hello. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa, 
And look, Manny says, woof. He says woof every time someone says hello, because that's how dogs say hello. Down the street, they meet Joseph and his parents, who have just come back from Kenya. Jumbo, jumbo, woof. They pass by a bakery and Carmelita stops to look in the window. Let's go in to get some cookies, her mama says. Ooh. Bonjour, bonjour, <laughs> woof, woof. And look, another dog answers Manny this time. <laughs> Your dog speaks French too, the woman says, smiling. Uh, al salam alaikum, al salam alaikum. That's how you say hello in Arabic. At the pizzeria, they say ciao, ciao. That's Italian. And then ni hao, ni hao. I think that is, oh, excuse me, it's Chinese. In the park, Carmelita meets her friends, Max and Angel. Hey, yo, what's up? <laughs> You're one smart Snoop Dogg, Angel says to Manny the dog. So in English, we have lots of different ways to say hello too, right? We can say hello, hi, yo, <laughs> hey, all of those things. When they turn the corner, Abuela Rosa is waiting for them. Hola, hola, woof, says Manny. Manny seems to know what I'm saying, Abuela Rosa says with a wink. Manny knows how to say hello in many languages, Carmelita says, smiling. <gasps> jingle, jingle, they hear. <gasps> it's the ice cream truck, Abuela Rosa says. <laughs> Woof, says Manny. That means Manny wants some too, Carmelita says, and gives Manny a big hug. <laughs> So what were all of the different ways that we learned how to say hello? We learned al salam alaikum, which is Arabic. Bonjour, which is French. Buenos dias, which is Spanish. Ciao, in Italian. Hola, also Spanish. Jumbo, in Swahili. Konnichiwa, in Japanese. Ni hao in Mandarin, and Shalom in Hebrew. Look at all of those amazing ways that people communicate with each other and say hello. There were two ways to say hello in Spanish in the book we just read, hola and buenos dias. And so we are gonna sing a song head, shoulders, knees, and toes, and we're gonna sing it two ways. The first verse we're gonna sing in English, and then the second verse we're gonna sing in Spanish. So in English, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. In Spanish, cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies. Got it? Oh, and then we have eyes ears, mouth, and nose. In Spanish, ojos, orejas, la boca, y, and nariz, nose. You ready? Okay, English first. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, Eyes, ears, mouth, and nose. All right, in Spanish, are you ready? Cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, ojos, orejas, la boca y nariz. <laughs> Yay! Good job, friends. Another way we learned to say hello in our book was Jumbo. J, A, 
M, B, O, Jumbo. And that means hello in Swahili. And we are going, I have some action cards here and we're gonna do some actions that start with these same letters. So our first letter is J. And we are gonna do some j, j, jumping jacks. So you can stand up <laughs> and for jumping jacks, we take our hands and our feet and we spread them apart and up and then together and down, just like this. Ready? And we're gonna do 10 jumping jacks. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oof, good job, friends. All right, the next letter in Jumbo is A. That's right. And for A, we are going to make some circles with our uh, uh, ankle. Can you show me your ankle? Yeah, right here. So ready? You can stand up and stand on one foot and move your ankle, or you can sit down and put your ankle in the air like me and make some circles with your ankle, just like that. All right, can you go the other direction? Yeah, perfect. Good job. All right, the next letter in Jumbo is M, that's right. And for M, we're going to m -m march in place. Are you ready? You can stomp your feet too, <laughs> just like this. Can you go faster, faster, faster? <gasps> slower, 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 stop. Good job. The next letter in Jumbo is B, B, B. And for B, we're going to B, B, balance on one foot. So pick which foot you're gonna start with, plant it on the ground, and then lift up your other foot. Can you do it? Oh, it can be hard to balance, but you can do it. If you keep tipping over, try switching feet. Put the other foot down and lift your, uh, your opposite foot up and see if that helps. Just like that, good job. And oh, we're running out of room for our last letter. Let me slide these over. Our last letter in Jumbo is O, that's right. And for O, we're going to jump over something. So this says we're gonna jump over a pillow, but I don't have a pillow. So I am just gonna put, here we go, one of my clothes pins. I'm gonna put that on the ground and we're gonna hop over it. Oh, oh, over. Are you ready? Here we go. Hop. And then we're gonna hop back. Hop. Just like that. Jumbo. Good job, friends. In our last book, we are going to learn some more words in Swahili. <laughs> and this book is called We All Went on Safari. And it is written by Lori Krebs and illustrated by Julia Cairns. We all went on safari when the day had just begun. We spied a lonely leopard. Arusha counted one. And in Swahili, one is pronounced moja. Moja. Now, I don't speak Swahili, so we are learning this together. We all went on safari over grasslands damp with dew. We came across some ostriches and Mosey counted Two, that's right. And in Swahili, two is mbili. 
Mbili. We all went on safari past an old acacia tree. Nearby giraffes were grazing, so Tumpe counted three. That's right, or in American Sign Language, three. And in Swahili, Tatu is three or three. We all went on safari to the ancient crater floor. We heard some lordly lions. Mwabe counted four. And in Swahili, four is nne, nne. We all went on safari where the lake birds swim and dive. Up bobbed some hefty hippos. Aquila counted five. That's right, five hippos. And in Swahili, five is Tano. Tano. We all went on safari among herds that intermix. We followed woolly wildebeests. And Watende counted. Six, that's right, good guess. And in Swahili, six is pronounced sita, sita. We all went on safari with the sun high in the heaven. We spotted zigzag zebras and Zalira counted seven, that's right. And in Swahili, seven is said saba. Saba. You might see me flipping to the back of the book because the back of the book tells me how to say these words that are new to me. We all went on safari near the Serengeti gate. We startled wiry warthogs. Sahuba counted eight. And in Swahili, eight is nane, nane. We all went on safari where the treetops intertwine. We met mischievous monkeys. So Dota counted nine. And in Swahili, nine is Tisa. Tisa. We all went on safari through a rocky hillside glen. We watched enormous elephants and Beaudru counted, that's right, 10. And in Swahili, 10 is said kumi, kumi. We all went on safari in the sunset's fading light. We built ourselves a campfire and bid our friends good night. The end. Good counting, friends. Those were a lot of new words that we learned together. How fun. All right, friends. This is the end of our very first ABC story time where we talked about different languages that people speak. And all of our story times in the month of March are sponsored by the Solon Women's Club. The Solon Women's Club is an amazing nonprofit organization that supports reading and learning, and we are so lucky to have them in our community. And now it's time for our goodbye song. We read a book and we played a game and we sang a song together. We read a book and we played a game. We had a fun adventure. Now go read a book and go play a game and sing. Bye.